WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Uh, please excuse the frog in my voice. The Palo Verdes are under attack. Folks, uh, this is going to be a Ripley's Believe It or Not issue here of the uh, – uh, Tiger Financial News Network. This is the chart of the S&P cash. I want you to see uh, we are substantially above the 78% level. It's made new highs now, one, two, three days in a row. Folks, in all the years, and I'm talking since this thing puppy started trading back in all, uh, April the 16th of 1982, uh, this has never happened when we have this much of a divergence. The Dow, the S&P did not make a new high. It missed it by a quarter of a point. Uh, the NASDAQ has missed it by quite a bit. The Russell has missed it by quite a bit. The Dow Jones exceeded it by a little bit. We'll cover those when we get into the 24-7 part of the show today. But this is a very unusual event. When they started to bring this to the uh, people's uh, attention here, financial futures, back in 82, they wanted the Dow Jones. But the Dow, the Dow family did not want to be involved with commodities. They thought it was like speculation and pork belly. So Leo Malamud, who was trying to set it up, went to the Standard & Poor's company, and they uh, certainly liked to do it, and they brought it together uh, on August the 16th. There were like three or four people in the pit. They had to go in and pull people out of T-bill pits and Jenny Bay pits to, to fill up uh, a pit so that they could take pictures and things. But uh, the S&P was trading for 103, and uh, it's now trading at uh, – what is it, 52 uh, and change. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, but this is very, very unusual. What does it mean? I don't know. All I know that when you look at the other indices, like the Dow Jones, which we'll look at in just a few minutes, and if you look at the Russell, and if you look at the uh, NASDAQ, you'll see that there is a possibility of a tradable top in this area. But if this continues, my goodness, we could be looking at something. You know, this is, this is a Ripley's Believe It or Not. Folks, this is the equivalent when you're looking at this right here, because the cash is trading at 521, the other one is trading at 52, so that's 10 times. So you talk 20% of that. That means the S&P would have to be trading at around 5290 to 5300. That's not right. Something's wrong. We're going to be right back. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> 